Okay. Is this focused? Mm, I think that's about focused. Oh, purchased a little smaller. Oh my gosh. Oh, JBL um, Control SP5. I've owned one back in the 1990s. Um, for a few years. And of course, didn't have the tools back then to check. Uh, apart from uh, the MR uh, AVP, basic uh, pink noise. Um, you know, uh, even that was kind of a little bit limited. Uh, that pink noise generator on the uh, uh, Yamaha DSR 70 Pro. Um, and then, of course, you've got the film soundtracks uh, playing VHS, uh, hi fi VHS, and then uh, Laserdisc. Um, about 93, I think, I got the first Laserdisc player. Um, and then I only had the uh, the uh, TCB uh, just for about another year. Um, now, if you notice, um, the two little white things down there. Just a simple technique of stuffing some of the ports up and changing the frequency response. Uh, done frequency um, test at first basically with pink noise and listen to it looked at it on the uh, spectrum lab and thought oh, that's kind of a bit disappointing um, and you know I mean thinking yeah it's dropping off down at 50 Hertz and thinking oh, weird uh, and then it just occurred to me stuff the ports up try it again and run some frequency sweeps um, I'll just bring up the frequency sweeps. Uh, focus. Okay, at first the sweep I did here, uh, that's with all three ports, uh, all the three ports open, and it gave me this result. Of course, microphones are uh, positioned up uh, above in the room now. That gave me that sort of result. Uh, I would have normally put the microphone on um, close to it, but um, I couldn't find my other uh, uh, fifth microphone, working microphone, because I've got six of them. One that's faulty, and uh, I've got a fifth one somewhere, but I don't know where I placed it. I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't find an XLR cable to use because all the XLR cables are all being used up on the um, so anyway frequency sweeps a frequency sweep then I repeated it again uh, sorry um, I repeated it again with the green one here the green one yeah and that's with the two ports plugged up stuffed up and it gave me this result. And I think, well, now I can hear the low lows because I'm repeating playing uh, Star Trek The Motion Picture, uh, Laserdisc, uh, theatrical uh, Dolby Stereo Mix, uh, not on Blu-ray. Did I say that too loud? <clears throat> um, yeah, this is on DVD RW, so it's not running on laser, but it is the theatrical mix. Um, you can't get it on Blu-ray, and I doubt you'll get it on 4K, so ha! Get your laser disc out. <clears throat> um, yeah, stop dicking around with these bloody waste of time, bloody near-field mixes, for Christ's sakes. Um, okay, and then I thought, all right, I'll, I'll do another sweep of the, uh, the, the two larger... Um, JBL 4782s, TCBs, placed behind the TV. Um, of course, it gives me that frequency response. More or less, you could say, um, a bit similar here. 
the similarity uh, because of the band pass. Uh, now, now there's the ports on the uh, the ports on here. Um, can't really see around there. Big large one down here. Big large one. There are two big large ones. And then you got. Oh. Uh, you can't. I can't. You can't see it with the camera. But um, just see my hand there. Uh, there are two more below, and two more above. If I could block the smaller ports out and run the freq frequency sweep again, and see see what see what results I get. I won't be surprised. If it turns out something like um, uh, the uh, SB5, and you know, that's got little 6.5 inch bass drivers inside, uh, or uh, uh -huh, come on, uh, you know, um, someone was making a post about got to put the air conditioning on. Them. Let's just mute the sound there, because I've got a change over. And that car <laughs> skips back a little bit, because I, I got the... Um, I hesitated with the pause. <laughs> I should have had this all recorded, all on, um, you know, on one program, but it's spread over two titles on the... Uh, the uh, the, uh, DVD or W, it should have been just one title, but it's spread over two titles. Um, I probably, I might, might redo it, get a, get a, get a new, uh, what do you call it, DVD or um, recorder. Well, they call them a Blu-ray now, don't they? Well, they probably got a 4K one, but it's still only going to, you know, you know. <laughs> but it might have better filtering and what have you. Or, uh, that still looks good. That still looks good. This has got the proper sound mix, unlike the Blu-ray where it's got some botches that you can, well, if you know what to look for, what to listen for, uh, you'll, you'll hear them as well as you won't hear some of them because some of them have missing sound effects. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, who does these bloody remixes for Christ's sakes? Near field mixes. Waste of space, I tell you, waste of bloody time. Um, yeah, so. I'm pleased with that, that, that um, those results. Please with those results. Ah, look at that. Now I ran the frequency sweep from zero up to 160 something five hertz, I think. Um, yeah, I kind of kind of makes those big gigantic subs. Um, you know those big gigantic, all these you know blah blah, you know. Oh yeah, I mean, look at that. Look at that. And then, all right, it slopes down. That's probably a room mode there, right? That's not a problem. That, that I know, is still going across. I know that's still going across there. Um, with the green one. So if I just use the green one, green. I know that's still going across because if I would place a second one of these, or a few of them more, at the back of the room, that response will go right across. So, yeah. And then it'll most likely elevate up a little bit. I, I would assume it would elevate up and then and then start um, sloping off uh, due to the uh, crossover filter. Uh, yeah. Of course, I, I, I'm going to ignore <laughs> that. <laughs> um, but, yeah. I wouldn't take 
that too much literally there um, maybe maybe around starting from 20 going up but uh, if 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 the sweep records it that's that's what it sees that's what it hears that's what it's you know receiving to where the relations where the microphones are uh, around the seating area um, like I say, they're, they're up there, and the other ones are at the back where the back row seating is, so yeah. Um, yeah. If I had that, if I had this tool um, over 30 years ago, um, yeah. And stuffing ports up and experimenting, yeah. I won't mind getting a few more of these now. Um, but I haven't got any place to put them up at the front of the room, so. Um, and I've got those other SB2s, um, that JBO SB2, why they call them an SB2, when they made it, uh, I think, after this one. Uh, yeah, why they call it an SB2, I, I really don't know. Uh, shouldn't they call it an SB12? Uh, wouldn't that be logical? Or maybe an SB10? Yeah, an SB10, that, that'd be logical, wouldn't it? Uh, I don't know why they call that an SB5, but it's kind of confusing. You've got an S, well, for control 5 monitors, and then you've got the SB1 for control 1 monitors, even though you could use control 1s with that. Or that with that <laughs> or that with that because <laughs> I've, I've done repeated tests but it won't really go up to the max max SBL level because the sensitivity still would be a bit low down um, so yeah not bad not bad simple simple little uh, tuning on the uh, ports hmm. yeah well done JVO not bad not bad you can get these really cheap now um, some may need repairing of the uh, the base drivers but that, that's not that's not a big deal and as far as I can tell they're all intact in there I opened up the uh, opened the unit up and had a look everything's a-okay um, wow. I might do a, another test in the morning, uh, today. Uh, uh, not now, because it'll involve playing uh, maybe uh, a certain sound pressure level, and I'll do a test uh, later in the day uh, just for um, just for fun. Uh, hopefully, uh, the other parts for the um, the Dolby CP200 will turn up today. I missed it yesterday because I had going in the hospital. Oh yeah, I blacked out or passed out. Picking that up, moving that over to this part in the room, and I just collapsed and it went forward. And then my toe, because my knee comes down on the floor, bang, and then my foot, bang, hits the slam right into the uh, into the floor so um, yeah blood splat yeah x-ray it's x-ray no fracture not even a hairline fracture that appears on the x-ray yeah that's the heat that's probably the heat because uh, yesterday bloody hell I mean um, they're shutting down trains because the the train service because the uh, the, the power lines that power the trains were generate their own electrical heat then you got the ambient temperature of the heat wave and everything was overloading and then, and then you got on top of all this I'm not no, knowing everyone in the hospital seems to have a foot problem to yesterday like um, yeah um, I think it's something to do with that Boris that Boris yeah some sort of alien conspiracies putting out 
gamma ray or alpha beta wave delta waves in the uh, the ionosphere and it's affecting our um, brains and uh, we're doing clumsy things I can't prove it but um, <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> yeah strange seems like most 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 incidents uh, were with foot problems. People with um, that's slightly swelling up now. Uh, I've got to keep this on for about maybe oh, at the best maybe seven days uh, until till it you know until I can take it off. Mm. So I can't go walking around at the moment because uh, otherwise, not good. Got to give it time to heal, and then even then, it'll probably still be a little bit. Got to give it maybe, you know, because sensitivity. You know, you you start pushing, start pushing it, you know, and then it gets, and then the situation gets worse, and then, oh my. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think. Um, because I'm retired, I've had four heart attacks, so, um, yeah, yeah, but sometimes, you know, I've got to walk somewhere, or, you know, but most people would push it, and, you know, my dad, he has problems with his, his foot, um, or his leg, swelling up now and then. So I mean, I might get, I might get something similar. I might get something similar, or maybe not. But I'm not going to push it. I'm just going to relax it, relax it, give it, give it some time, a month or so, relax, and then see how it feels, and you know, because uh, you know, when you're walking, you're putting a lot of pressure. And, uh, gravity's pushing your body weight down and you know uh, and then the foot movement and yeah you know pfft. you know it's not, not worth uh, pushing it to um, you know thank goodness I didn't dislocate dislocate dis, 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 um, dislocate it huh. yeah well if I'd had uh, only do that wouldn't I one, two, three, but ouch, and, that, and that's it. But it's not fractured, thank goodness. Because they, the, the hospitals, sometimes they don't listen to you. You know, they, you say you're moving something from one place and then you stumble. It falls on the floor and then your knee lands on the, hits the floor and then your foot hits the floor. Lastly. And they're thinking, no, you dropped something on your foot because they're looking at it, aren't they? And thinking, assuming something fell on your foot. Uh uh, no, 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 no. Picking it up, passed out because of the damn blooming heat. It falls forward, and then my knee hits the gr ground, second, and then my foot, bam, hits the floor last. I thought it was okay until I noticed it. I saw that it feels wet. Ugh. Psst. Blood. It's all got that under control and in a couple of minutes I've got that under control and within an hour or so it started to slow down. So that was good. Yeah, most accidents do happen at home, that's very true. Gotta keep um keep um Keep level-minded. Keep level-headed. Got to keep. Um, don't 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 over push it. Sometimes. Don't over push it. Uh, yeah. Um, anyway. Um, I'm say I'm not kidding. How many times I watched this film? Probably watched it more times than any any tracker. I mean, the Dolby Stereo Mix on this film is pretty damn cool. Pretty damn cool. But Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan is brilliant, yeah. 
look, this this has got a brilliant Dolby Stereo film X. Uh, oh, there was a nice bit of bass there, and even though I had the fader at uh, three, uh, three on the fader. Um, back it up a bit. Turn that fan off. Turn the air conditioner off. I like the split. I like all these split lens diopter uh, shots where everything's for, uh, for, uh, background and foreground, and it's all focused, and you get all that this a kind of smear like there's Vaseline on the lens and it's you know <laughs> let's put the spectrum level It'll be coming up in the moment that, that nice bit of low frequency in the Jerry Goldsmith score just take the fader up a little bit here it comes As low as the other one, which was about 30, 33 hertz, uh, well, uh, uh, a bit earlier on in the film, but oh no, yeah, still, that's better with the three ports plugged up. Otherwise, that note would just go unheard, unnoticed, with uh, the three ports um, all un unplugged. Oh. Pretty, pretty cool. See, kind of the proportion of that. Oh, it looks 